Hello, and welcome to another Mario Party 4 minigame review. Well, we're finally here. The very last minigame in Mario Party 4. Can you believe it? I don't. Seems like only yesterday we were starting this one. I know. Unlike in the first three Mario Party games, there's no bonus ones here to play after this. We've played them all. The last several minigames we've played have all been really high quality ones. I guess they wanted to go out on a bang. But there's still one more to play, so it's never too late for them to screw it up. Our last minigame is the one versus three tree stomp. In this one, the team of three are in some giant tree trunk robot vehicle killing device thing, trying to take down the single player. It's the single player's job to survive until time is up to win. But if any of the players on the team are able to hit them before then, they'll win. You'll also have to watch out for banana peels while you play or you'll slip and fall. But on the flip side, there are rare golden bananas that will be thrown as well. And that'll make whoever gets them extremely fast for a little while. But will this be a winning formula that will make our Mario Party 4 journey end on a high note? Or will it ruin our streak of great minigames at the last moment? Let's find out. So right off the bat, this one reminds me of Goomba Stomp, which we played before. It takes place in those same weird tree trunk vehicle things, except instead of hitting Goombas, you're trying to hit the single player. If you guys haven't seen that, we'll link it below. I think only having one person control the vehicle made it way easier. When there's three people trying to control a massive, awkward vehicle, you end up running into each other a lot, and it doesn't seem like you're making any progress. It was kind of difficult. Well, I think the thing that I personally prefer about this one is playing as a single player. I'm not sure about you, but I thought it was really fun to run away and dodge out of the way of the team players at the last second. Yeah, this is another example of a one versus three minigame being skewed to one side. Yeah, if you're in the tree trunk vehicles, you just go so slow. And the single player is so small that it's pretty easy to weave in and out of all the team players. But one thing I will say though, is that if you're the single player and you get one of the golden bananas, you go so quick. It was really hard for me to control where I was moving to, and I think every time I lost as a single player, it was because I had a golden banana and ran into somebody. Gosh, me too. Honestly, I would skip the golden bananas if you're the single player. It made it a little too hard to control and, and kind of dangerous. They're much more useful if you're in the vehicles though, because then you actually pick up to a decent speed. I know. I wish we were going that speed the whole time in the vehicle. It just felt like you were, couldn't really do anything. I felt like I never had a chance to get the single player. Maybe a good strategy would be to corner the single player with the other team players, but playing with computers really didn't allow that to happen. So overall, like a lot of one versus three minigames, this one's a lot more fun for one side than the other. If you're the single player, it's pretty exciting to dodge in and out of all the team players and make it to the end of the minigame. But if you're one of the players riding the tree trunk vehicle things, it's just really slow and tedious. I think Goomba Stomp definitely did that part of it better, because at least in that one, there was constantly Goombas all around you, so no matter how slow you were going, you still felt like you were doing something because you were killing Goombas. This one doesn't have that to fall back on, and it really hinders this one. So we're giving it three stars out of five. Well, that's it for today. And that's it for Mario Party 4. Luckily for you though, you can come back next week to watch our top 10 best and our top 10 worst minigame reviews. If you've enjoyed our reviews, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. We'll come back next week to see the last of our Mario Party 4 content. Hope, Hope to, to see, see you then. then.